Good evening, everyone. This is Ntabiseng Kotokwani. I am your moderator for today for this wonderful webinar on wha why Wikipedia in libraries. Um, I know everybody is uh, interested in this, and especially the people who pa participated uh in some of the one ref one uh library uh one ref one lib library uh campaign that has been <clears throat> going around uh i know it's morning for uh, for all our pan uh, panelists it's afternoon for some people and it's um midday for some people. We have people from Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria, South Africa, India, Spain, Namibia, Uganda, Morocco, and Mexico participating in this webinar. We're really pleased to have you here. I have to a couple of gro ground rules. One, the Q&A, all your questions should be put in the q a box please look for it because some of them the questions if you put them in the chat we will miss them so i promise we will cover most of the questions if we haven't covered your question or if i have combined it in with someone else's question you can participate continue after the webinar to participate online I have already answered a question on, are we going to get the slides? Yes, definitely you're gonna get the slides. The slides will be made available to everybody who participates. And secondly, the recording will be in the YouTube channel or, or uh, Aflia's YouTube channel. So you will get the recording there. So we, the presentation will be about 55 minutes and i hope everyone will be will enjoy it and i have to uh, some other announcement this is a series of webinars this one is the first webinar we're going to have a second third and the fourth webinar so take out your pens and write down the dates of the next webinars as i have said this one is why is happening today and it's why, why Wikipedia in libraries. The second webinar will be on the 12th of March. That will be on Global Library Outreach Program. 12th March, Global Library Outreach Program. The third, the third one, it, it will be on the 2nd of April. The 2nd of April, representing African knowledge and the African diaspora for Wikipedia's global audience. Representing African knowledge and the African diaspora for Wikipedia global knowledge, 2nd of April. The last one will be on the 23rd of April. 23rd of April, Learn more about African Library Week, Libraries Week, and how how to participate in the campaign. Learn more about African Libraries Libraries Week and how to participate in the campaign. We will try and put up all the the information. I see Stanley is already giving you the the website on the chat. Please click on those links and go into the into the Aflia website. You will get the information on all uh, the webinars we'll be running. Uh, this is our first webinar for this year, and I hope everybody is going to enjoy it. We have two speakers for today. We have Marilyn Prophet, who works for OCLC, a global library cooperative that provides project management skills and expert support to institution within the OCLC research library partnership. I know most of our libraries um, 
are part of OCLC. Those that don't know about OCLC, please go and Google it up and understand what it is about. So she, she merely has offered a, a, and co-authored articles and guidelines and reports for a variety of organization and professional journal. And she's, a, she's usually an invited speaker in international uh, and professional conference. She's done workshops on topics relating to digital libraries and special collections. Uh, she also got an award uh, of the SAA, South Africans, not the South African airline. SAA, it's the highest honor bestowed on, on individual by SAA. And the, the award is for outstanding contribution to the archival profession. She is passionate about foraging connection between Wikimedia, sorry, Wikimedia projects and cultural heritage institution. She is an editor of Leveraging Wiki, Wikipedia, Connecting Communities of Knowledge. Uh, you can Google that and then read the book. Uh, you, it, it's very interesting. Merrily was a also a director of digital archives development and at the Bancroft Library in California. She's, she'll be going first. She'll be our first speaker. Our second speaker who will take over from Merrily is Mo uh, Miss Monica Seagal Jones. She is a, communica a communication scholar with expertise in media and cultural studies. Monica serves as a uh, OCLC Wikipedia and resident and instructional designer for, for two online Wikipedia training uh, for programs that were offered for public library staff in the USA. She also um, uh, ran an 18 month Wikipedia and libraries better together project funded by, by the, by the Knight Foundation and Wiki, Wikipedia Foundation. Monica is passionate about information and media literacy and community engagement. She is, has huge experience in leadership, educational programming, publishing, and in arts. Uh, her, her research project, she's got several research projects as she has done. She has a master's degree in gender studies from uh, the Central European University in Budapest, Hungary, and is completing her doctor, doctorate in communication science studies in, in San Diego. Currently, she's an adjunct professor in the Department of Communication at University of Washington in Seattle. Claire. I will now give hand over to, uh, to Mary Lee to start her presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for that introduction and to all of you for the warm welcome. I'm really honored to be with you today with such an international group. Um, I, uh, as was mentioned in the introduction, uh, the connection between Wikipedia and other Wikimedia projects and libraries is something that's very, uh, that I'm very passionate about. And I'm really, uh, you know, again, very honored to be uh, sharing this with you and to be the kickoff speaker in this series. Um, and really what I want to talk about are the many ways that Wikipedia and other Wikimedia projects are connected to libraries and um, give you some information about the different ways that different types of librarians have been connecting with Wikipedia um, and really to encourage you to think about the type of librarian that you are, the type of library that you're in, and the ways that you can contribute that are meaningful to you and also to the projects. Um, I'm going to be sharing ideas that are from this book and I'm not, uh, I'm not necessarily plugging the book, but just giving it as a resource where you can find more information. Um, the stories that I'm going to be sharing with you today are all chapters from the book 
all the chapters are written by librarians for librarians. Um, a word of caution though, this book was published by the American Library Association and all of the uh, views that I'm going to be representing today are from my knowledge and my own context as an American and uh, the stories that are in the book are for the largest part uh, reflective of the American library situation. So they may not be necessarily uh, relevant for you in your own context. But again, hopefully these will give you some ideas about the types of things, the types of ways you can engage, the range of en engagements and what that looks like for different people in different contexts with different motivations and to allow you to choose your own adventure in Wikipedia. So with that warning, uh, let's, let's proceed. So why is it that you should be interested in Wikipedia and engaging with Wikipedia? Well, first of all, it's a truly global project. And I think we saw in the introductions today, we're seeing people from all over the world who are interested in, in this project. Uh, so I saw people from across Africa, but also from different parts of the globe. And that's great because Wikipedia is a really global project. Uh, Wikipedia is immensely popular. It is the 10th most ac accessed website globally, and that ranges kind of up and down, but Wikipedia is generally speaking always in the top 10 of websites that are accessed across the globe. Uh, getting up to 15% of internet traffic every single day. So this is a scale that I don't think that you can um, ignore. Your patrons are using Wikipedia weekly, if not daily. If they're not going there directly, they're following a highly ranked search engine term, which would lead them to Wikipedia. And I'm sure that we've all had this um, experience. In the introduction, the moderator said, if you're interested in finding more ab about uh, OCLC, the organization I work for, you can Google it up. Well, if you Google it up, you will most likely come to a page about uh, OCLC that's in Wikipedia. Um, and you can see here that uh, the English language version of Wikipedia gets, uh, is just last month received uh, 9.9, .9, almost 10 billion page views in a month. There are uh, over 300 different version, different language versions of Wikipedia, and uh, they receive um, a, a smaller portion of traffic, but still, nonetheless, very impressive numbers, especially when compared to uh, the web traffic that library and library service organizations receive. Uh, we're far less. So we want to be connected to Wikipedia so that we then can get people connected to libraries. Um, this is one that I'm sharing with you because I think that it, uh, so this is, you can look up the, the monthly traffic for any given language version of Wikipedia. And I thought that this was interesting, not just for the number of page views that were received in the month of January and the number of unique devices that are accessing the information in this language version of Wikipedia, but also where the traffic is coming from. So I think that you see that this really is a, a global project and a way to reach uh, people across the globe who are interested in information in their own language. And that really is part of the vision of Wikipedia, is to give every person on the planet free access to knowledge in their own language. And I think that this uh, multilingual vision is something that really distinguishes uh, Wikipedia from, from other projects. And these projects go from very small, very large, the English language Wikipedia just crossed over 6 million articles earlier this year, to uh, Choctaw, an indigenous uh, language of the Americas with just 200 articles. Um, but regardless of the size, each of these is an important resource in their community. Um, the Wikimedia Foundation is not just about um, Wikipedia. There are also notable projects that you should know about that are within the Wikimedia universe. So there's Wikimedia Commons, which is a repository of freely reusable media files to which anyone can contribute. 
Wikisource, which is a repository for texts and which should be of interest, I think, to librarians, and Wikidata, which is a metadata, metadata repository. Um, and these projects act to support one another. So for example, a Wikipedia article may draw metadata from Wikidata and show images from Wikimedia Commons. But beyond the, this infrastructure, the Wikimedia universe really represents what participants call a movement. And this is a set of values that support freedom of information and open sharing of knowledge. And that, that ethos that underlies all of these projects is I think something that, uh, that relates very, very strongly to librarians' core values. Um, and finally, it's about people. Um, like librarianship, uh, like libraries, you go into libraries and, and the thing that is really powering libraries is the people, the people that, that use the resources and also the people that run the resources. Um, and there are millions of registered editors, but only hundreds of thousands of what we call active editors, people who make an edit in a given 30 day period. And it's really amazing that it's the passion of these uh, volunteers throughout the globe um, who have created this amazing resource that over the last 19 years has become um, so popular and such a vital part of our, of our infrastructure. Um, these volunteers are supported by uh, chapters and other affiliates which have their own infrastructure to help support more local or specialized activities. So there's, there's ways in your local environment for you to get tapped into um, uh, this organization. And I'm so happy that this web, webinar series is exploring ways for you to do this. So with all of the wonderfulness that is Wikipedia, it is not without flaws. And those flaws have been covered in the press and elsewhere. Um, one of the problems is the uh, who is primarily contributing to Wikipedia. It's a pretty narrow demographic of people who are uh, rep who are contributing. Um, I'm hopeful that connecting with libraries and librarians who serve such a diverse range of populations that we can help to um, counter that uh, that contribution. But but right now um, on English language Wikipedia. Wikipedia, for example, the uh, contributions are overwhelmingly from, uh, from men. There are also significant gaps on Wikipedia. Um, so the number of articles about, uh, that are about people, there's a relatively low percentage of them that are about women. There are also other gap areas on Wikipedia. So for example, um, if you look at topics on English language Wikipedia that are represented of librarians and librarianship, those are also what I would consider to be gap areas. Librarianship is not very well represented on Wikipedia, whereas uh, articles that are about comic books or comic book characters are very well represented. So there's uh, a lot of work that, that we can do there. Um, additionally, although the number of articles is very high, the overall number of articles that have a relatively low quality rating are, are also very high. So there's a lot of improvement in the quality of the articles that are already there and a lot of these citation needed templates. And uh, I know that you're going to have an upcoming webinar on One Lib, One Ref. Uh, one of the aims of that very important campaign that engages librarians is to help uh, provide citations uh, that are much needed on Wikipedia, and that is definitely an area where librarians can contribute. Um, so I'm going to cover now some opportunities that are for libraries and for librarians, but mostly it's really up to you. These are just some examples from the book. Um, they represent my perspective and not yours. So I really invite you in the spirit of our um, Wikipedia plus libraries course that Monica is going to be talking about later to be to learn about Wikipedia and to be curious about how, how you can make a contribution and can become a Wikibrarian. Um, so I'm going to be sharing some stories. First of all, this is Sarah Snyder, who works at the Archives of American Art in Washington, D.C. Uh, Sarah wrote a chapter in the book about uh, how to have the perfect edit-a-thon. 
Um, edit-a-thons are a great way to invite people in both from the library and from your community to help improve content on Wikipedia. Um, and Sarah really sees these edit-a-thons as a fantastic way to connect knowledge from her institution to take advantage of um, curators and archivists and others who work at her institution who are specialists, but also the people who use her incredible library and to invite them to create and improve articles that relate to the content in her library. So here's, here's Sarah, uh, passionate about edit-a-thons and wrote a whole chapter about how to have a great edit-a-thon. This is Kelly Doyle. Uh, Kelly was a Wikipedian in residence at West Virginia University and worked with the libraries there to increase representation on Wikipedia, specifically for, uh, for women and topics related to women. Uh, Kelly took a very innovative approach um, in working with the libraries and really was very thoughtful in thinking about how to get students, particularly female students on the campus to contribute to Wikipedia. And one of the things that she, uh, one of her ideas that I think was especially brilliant was to, um, to engage students who are in sororities who have to do a student service project to spend that service time uh, editing Wikipedia. So the students are required to do some sort of, um, spend so many hours a week doing a, a service project and they dedicated that time to improving Wikipedia. They could have done any number of things, but Kelly worked to be sure that this was a project that helped to qualify. So the students got the credit that they needed to fulfill their service project. So this is a really innovative way to think about mashing those things up. The library's goal to increase representation of Wikipedia on, on campus and also to teach these students some critical skills about editing Wikipedia. So you can read more about Kelly and her story in the book. This is Mary, Mary Lise and Lydia wrote a chapter about Wikidata, which as I mentioned, is a repository for metadata and facts. Wikidata is the one uh, Wikimedia project that is multilingual to the core. Uh, with the different language versions of Wikipedia, these are different uh, media wiki installations one by one, but wi media wiki data is unique in that it incorporates multilinguality right within it. So you don't have a separate English wiki data and a separate German wiki data. It's all in one thing. Um, Mary Lease on her campus at um, Indiana University uh, works to represent researchers and their works in, uh, in, in Wikidata. So this is, she's using this as a platform to uh, create entities about researchers and then link them to their research and their research outputs. Um, and this connects to a larger effort called Wikisite. So if you're interested in, if you're a, um, a librarian who works in scholarly communications, who's interested in uh, seeing research impacts represented in a free and open knowledge system, uh, I think that you would be very interested in exploring Wikidata and the Wikisite effort. And I invite you to join, uh, join up in those efforts and you can find much more about them by, uh, by Googling uh, Wikisite. Jason uh, Evans and Alex Stinson uh, wrote a wrote a chapter. Jason is the Wikimedian in residence for Wales, so he is a national Wikimedian. Um, and Alex Stinson works as a glam strategist for the Wikimedia Foundation. And these two gentlemen wrote a lovely chapter about how existing Wikimedia affiliates, which are chapters, user groups, um, etc., can act as a support network for librarians. So how you can connect, so they give some ideas about how um, you can construct something like uh, uh, a Wikimedian in residence who uh, comes into your institution or your organization, works with you carefully to devise a strategy all the way up to how chapters and user groups can support you in things like edit-a-thon. So, the point of this chapter is to let you know that you're not alone. There's a whole network of volunteers out there 
And this uh, chapter gives you some tips for how you can connect to Wikimedians that are in your community. Um, and finally, one of our really great chapters in this book is by Monica Schengel Jones, who wrote a lovely chapter about public libraries in the United States and how librarians in public libraries are connecting with Wikipedia. But the work that Monica has done goes well beyond this chapter. And I'm so, so fortunate that she's here today to share her story as well. So uh, that is all I have for you today. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn things over to Monica. Thank you so much, Marilee, for that. And I am very happy to be with you here today. Again, my name is Monica Shangle Jones, and I am here uh, with you in Seattle, Washington. So let's get started. Um, I've been editing Wikipedia for almost 10 years. And I am, uh, thank you for the kind introduction, also a scholar of communication and media. And in 2017 to 2019, I joined OCLC as a Wikipedian in residence um, and then doing instructional design work uh, with public libraries and Wikipedia. So the project that I'm gonna talk to you um, about today uh, helps you to answer that question of what can Wikipedia do for you? And I'm gonna tell you about two projects that I was involved in um, that sought to strengthen ties between US public library staff and Wikipedia, um, really based on my participation in these projects. And the projects were possible uh, through funding um, from the Knight Foundation in 2016, uh, funded a flagship project called Wikipedia Plus Libraries Better Together. And I was able to join this project in 2017. And then in 2019, there was a training program that was funded by the US uh, National Network of Librarians of Libraries of Medicine uh, that did a Wikipedia training program on health and medical information. I didn't work on this project alone, uh, but was I've shared here uh, images of others at OCLC involved in this project. And you'll recognize here is Marilee Prophet, the co-presenter today, because she was behind spearheading the design of the Wikipedia Plus Libraries project at OCLC and has been a visionary in seeking to strengthen ties between libraries and Wikipedia more generally, as you've heard. The project that I worked on, um, Wikipedia Plus Libraries Better Together, was situated at a learning center at OCLC called Web Junction. Web Junction, for the past about 20 years, has done professional development and training for US public library staff. These are online programs and webinars that help with training of library staff around technical and educational skills that they need to better serve their libraries and their communities. So the tact that we took with Wikipedia and libraries um, hinged around Web Junction's focus on meeting the needs of the adult learners who were already participating in Web Junction programs. And the approach that Web Junction takes is to really situate why um, before the how. So help peeping, helping participants in learning programs understand why they're there and why it matters for what they're doing in their libraries and to help them see um, what they can do with Wikipedia um, in ways that's meaningful to them. So this is the kind of theoretical, uh, educational pedagogy that uh, went into our program and curricular curriculum design. 
Before I go on to explain that to you, I just wanted to give you a little bit of background about US public libraries, in part because what we did in our programs was aimed to meet the needs of these libraries. Uh, um, and so this will help you understand what we did and help you see you know, the extent to which our programming is something that you can think with um, or use or adapt to meet the needs of your libraries um, and communities. So there are many libraries in the United States, uh, more than 16,000, and some like to joke that there are, are actually more libraries than uh, McDonald's restaurants. But what's special about US public libraries is that the majority are small and or rural libraries. So they're not all situated in urban hubs. And that's why having online trainings um, and doing online projects uh, around Wikipedia makes sense for libraries. Public libraries serve diverse communities and focus on services. So many public libraries offer job trainings, uh, early childhood education and literacy programs and activities. And they're staffed by uh, folks who may or may not have uh, degrees in library science. When we designed our two programs and delivered them, we didn't start out presuming we knew what would be most meaningful for the public library staff. Uh, given the diversity of libraries across the United States um, and the communities that they serve, we wanted to really understand um, and build our curriculum around what they wanted and what they needed. And so um, when I joined the project, I connected um, with library staff um, through interviews, uh, surveys, and attending conferences and meetups to understand better what US public library staff would want from a Wikipedia program. And so these are some of the learnings that we had um, based on that initial research, which was really to increase information literacy, um, improve access to authoritative information for library patrons, um, and raise the visibility of libraries and enrich community programs um, in order to support critical thinking skills among patrons. And I think many libraries come in to a Wikipedia program going, wow, we know that this is a collaboratively edited uh, project, um, how reliable is Wikipedia? And I, our projects sought to help libraries understand how Wikipedia works so that they can uh, better evaluate it. But we also sought to show libraries that there is a big community behind uh, both libraries and Wikipedia, and there are alignments between them. So it's not just an interface or a portal, but it's a project, it's a movement that's um, has people behind it, people who are passionate about the same kind of ideas around information access for everyone. During our educational programs, um, the first program, the Wikipedia plus libraries better together flagship program was nine weeks long. And the second program that I worked on on health and medical information was four weeks long. Each course uh, had guest speakers um, from libraries who would talk about what they've done with Wikipedia in their library. You can read some of the stories that were featured um, in the course in the book that uh, Marilee shared with you in that chapter. And I'll be talking a little bit more about them today as well, in part because I think stories from the library help others help you think with um, folks who have already done something similar and really put a face to activities. 
In addition, we featured programming ideas uh, that were done, um, many that addressed Wikipedia's weak spots and uh, gaps. And we sought to highlight how these projects are areas of opportunity um, for uh, libraries to participate. So for example, here you can see on the top left is a large poster um, promoting gender equity in Wikipedia through edit-a-thons. On the top right is a flyer for AfroCrowd, which is a movement around uh, languages from um, the Caribbean and Americas in the African diaspora. And there is a large movement of AfroCrowd in the New York State area and also in London. And at the bottom is a queerest Wikipedia edit-a-thon that took place in the San Francisco area. And in the center is the Wiki Project Women in Red program, which seeks to improve um, and add biographies of women to English Wikipedia. So we highlighted these programs as ways to get involved in Wikipedia and um, to be joining a movement of people who are already doing really exciting things with Wikipedia. Both of the courses uh, included editing components and uh, participants learned how to edit um, and they really did a great job. Um, you may have seen in an earlier slide in a survey that we did of course participants who were enrolling, they were curious about Wikipedia, but 70% had never edited before. So this was something that was new. Um, and as they were thinking about what can we do with Wikipedia in our public libraries, um, they also learned how to edit and made contributions to improve Wikipedia. Um, and they did a great job. So these are some of the numbers um, that are aggregate from both of the courses as of their completion date. And beyond the courses, what are the participants doing with their learnings? Uh, our course design sought to provide participants with tools and resources and information um, so that they could decide what they would do next. As um, guides and instructors, we didn't want to presume we knew what public library staff would want to accomplish. Rather, we aimed to help them find a way to incorporate Wikipedia in their libraries in ways that was meaningful to them. And we gave them examples and models they could look to to do so. So uh, now I want to share with you a couple of stories of what some of our course participants are doing um, out of their learnings. This is an image of Jean King, who's a reference librarian at West Hempstead Public Library. And she came to Wikipedia um, as a former journalist aiming to highlight um, reliable sources related to local news um, and also to just authoritative information about the history of her region in Wikipedia. And as a reference librarian, her plan after the course was to edit from the reference desk and to find ways to address patron inquiries, um, through her Wikipedia editing. And Jean says, the thing is, once you get started, you'll find more things to do, more things on Wikipedia to think about. And I just say, wow, look at this, and go from there. So her story is an example of the ways that editing can become incorporated into the daily practice of some forms of librarianship. The second example I want to show you are um, ways that engaging with Wikipedia can enrich information literacy. So this is a photograph of two public librarians in Nebraska City, Nebraska, Denise Davis and Tom Boucher. 
And in their town, uh, the public school system frequently partners with the public library to um, provide service support uh, for students to learn how to write term papers and uh, do research. So Denise and Tom had an existing partnership with uh, middle school and uh, high school teachers and they decided to work with the school to help students use Wikipedia to improve their critical thinking skills and their research skills. Um, Denise says that this was really an outcome of what she learned about how Wikipedia works. As she said, I too used to poo poo Wikipedia. Now I consider myself a convert. I'm pushing its value to help students be critical consumers of information. This is a photo of Leila Andros, who's a, a librarian at Austin Public Library. And Leila is among the librarians who engaged with Wikipedia around many of its limitations and gaps. So there are, um, in English, Wikipedia, as Marilee said, more than 6 million articles. And yet there are still many articles that are underdeveloped and topical areas that could use improvement. This became kind of a rallying point for librarians who were concerned about biases in our information ecosystem and wanting to ameliorate those uh, through um, critical reading skills and also events and programming. So for Layla, the fact that Wikipedia has biases was a reason to get involved. People need librarians to help them gain skills to navigate the digital environments they're going in every day, she said. And this became um, a point of, of organization and engagement. And then we have um, librarians who used Wikipedia to connect with other institutions in their communities. This is an, a photograph of Kim Guile from Kansas City Public Library. Kim came to our course uh, not necessarily convinced uh, that Wikipedia was going to be something great for her library, but she was waiting to be convinced, I think. And she noticed right away uh, that there were aspects of her community's history notably uh, music history, jazz history, uh, women's history that was underrepresented on Wikipedia. So as a community reference librarian, Guile sought out partnerships with her city's uh, cultural heritage institutions, the American Jazz Museum and the uh, African American um, History Museum to develop programming that would improve articles on Wikipedia around that history. Um, and she said that Wikipedia has been a very worthy resource of engagement for strengthening these institutional ties. And she organized uh, more than one Wikipedia event with other institutions and says there's tremendous opportunity here to make Wikipedia a very robust resource for everyone. I dare you not to get excited. And finally, as I mentioned, there are uh, many small and rural libraries. Often libraries, these public libraries don't have the resources to put on large scale events. But nevertheless, our participants in our training programs found that just learning about the ins and outs of Wikipedia in our courses um, was, was a great step for their professional development and their next step was to turn to their colleagues um, and their staff and go over that content uh, as well so that others in their, um, on their team could better serve their patrons in, in the day-to-day -day activities at their library. So this is an, a photo of Karen Cast at Eagle Mountain City Public Library in Utah. 
And Karen's library is small. Um, I think they have about eight uh, library staff total who rotate on a, on a part-time basis. And Karen organized an in on-site staff training about how Wikipedia works and how to analyze articles and understand the inner workings of the encyclopedia to, so that all of her staff um, would have that insight. She said, learning what I learned in the course is important for all our staff. We're a small rural library. We all do a little of everything. Wikipedia fits into all of our work. And others who took the course that we had on health and medical information went out and shared their insights on the reliability and authority of health information on Wikipedia with their colleagues as that next step. So this was um, a training program that we did that really sought to empower the participants to do what made the most sense for them next. So I'll end it there by saying I've shared these stories with you um, as some of the learnings that, that I've gained, um, that we've gained in running two Wikipedia training programs. The curriculum that was developed out of the Wikipedia Plus Libraries Better Together project, the, the large-scale 18-month project, is freely available for you or for anyone to to download and to adapt um, to your purposes and you can read more about what we did um, in some of these stories on the web junction website which i would be um, happy to share with you in chat and i invite you to think with these stories um, as you think about what would make the most sense for you uh, to do with Wikipedia and to share with you this commonly shared mantra um, in the Wikimedia community that's uh, to be bold, to jump in, to not be afraid to do something that will improve Wikipedia. And I think that that imperative um, is a nice invitation also for where libraries can go with Wikipedia. So with that, um, I will end here and uh, share with you um, the slides as well, where you can see the references and resources that I've used, uh, which will also include my contact information as well. And thank you so much for your attention. Thank you very much, Monica and Marley, for <clears throat> brilliant presentations. I will jump straight into the questions. Most of the, our um, attendees are from academic libraries. So some of the questions will be based on their experience. Uh, what, uh, I have a question that says, uh, students and researchers are uh, discouraged from using Wikipedia due to, to low quality of the articles. How is this being addressed? Uh, anyone who wants to answer it between um, Monica and Marley? Hi, this is Marilee. I'll, I'll start and um, I know that Monica also has um, some views on this. So first of all, I was seeing um, a number of uh, things in the questions about quality of articles. Um, how can you <clears throat> uh, assess articles? Um, this was actually uh, one of the one of the core principles um, of the course is to teach our participants how to, for themselves, assess the quality of Wikipedia articles. So there is, in fact, a sort of peer review system um, within Wikipedia uh, where articles do get assessed a quality rating. However, lots of articles are unassessed. So what we sought to do is to use the skills that librarians already have um, with their knowledge about um, information and media literacy to teach them to be able to look for cues within the articles to assess them their quality for themselves and then pass that information along to patrons. So in fact, I think that many Wikipedians would agree that articles are of quite varying quality. Um, what you're seeing is not a finished product when you're looking at Wikipedia, you're looking at a work in progress. 
Um, and the point is for everybody to contribute to that work in progress and make it better, not to avoid it altogether. So I think understanding what Wikipedia is, a work in progress rather than a finished product helps to reframe that narrative somewhat um, and also uh, should encourage us to, uh, to participate and make it better and not avoid it. The one thing that we do see is that people are consistently using Wikipedia. Um, within the medical community, we've seen a lot of effort placed in trying to improve Wikipedia because people are going there. And I would love to see the library, academic, and education community similarly embrace Wikipedia um, and try to improve it rather than uh, try to avoid it. So I hope that that helps to answer um, some of the questions. But I know Monica probably also has uh, some things to add. Thanks, Mary. Yeah, I completely agree with uh, how you've answered that question. And I think it's a question that comes up again and again. And what we emphasize, um, what I emphasize also as a university instructor now is that Wikipedia is a great starting point for research, but for, for example, um, citing Wikipedia in a paper um, would be problematic, I think, for most Wikipedians, uh, Wikipedia editors, because we have to understand that it's this kind of living and breathing community and the, the content is always changing. Um, but there is a real radicalness to this living encyclopedia because there's incredible version control. So you can see how changes were made when reversions happened. Um, you can see how the pages have evolved over time. Um, and this is a kind of insight that you just can't get in other publishing spaces. We don't see how other encyclopedic or tertiary references are developed. So this is a kind of level of insight that I think is really important um, for students or for any learner to be able to look at and that will strengthen how you evaluate the integrity of that information. And as Marilee said, learning how the community has developed norms around um, reliable sources, uh, a neutral point of view and how, how difficult that is um, and how contentious that that point is for editors. Um, and then uh, no original research in that um, will help you uh, uh, see how these, um, how like the articles that have gone uh, through peer review are really, really excellent. And the fact that you can work together with other editors to develop other articles that are underdeveloped is a big invitation to anyone um, in the educational and, and library um, world, I think. Um, there's, there's a lot of great uh, um, participation that's, that's happened. And this is, I think, this is the selling point for Wikipedia. Um, there's um, another question. Uh, what are the steps that uh, you need, like the steps in editing? To, to be an editor in, you take to be an editor in Wikipedia. And then I think I want to add something to you, to it. What knowledge and skills attitude should I possess to join? How do I get started? And these questions are from the um, public, uh, sorry, academic librarians, because uh, the examples that we had mainly were from the public library space. Okay, anyone can take? Sure. Uh, so Monica, it looks like Monica is looking for a slide there. And while she's looking, I'll, yeah, I'll, do, I'll do a little talking. Um, so indeed, anybody can edit, anybody can edit Wikipedia. Um, there are many uh, resources available online for editing Wikipedia. Some of those things are bundled into our course. I think we have, uh, rather than the course teaching people to edit, we uh, pulled out some, um, some high points about editing, uh, but there are many uh, tools and resources that are available online that will teach you the basics of how to edit. Um, I would say that the thing that you need to have most is kind of an openness and a curiosity and also to be um, uh, 
really curious about what the norms are for Wikipedia. Writing for an encyclopedia is very different than writing um, an article for a professional journal, for example. Uh, and, you know, there's all kinds of things about um, uh, neutral point of view and uh, the, the types of uh, sources that you would want to cite. So this is a this is an encyclopedia. It's a it's a summary of secondary sources. It's a tertiary resource. So you're not going to use primary source material um, in creating your uh, your Wikipedia article. So I think understanding what Wikipedia is and how you can contribute to it um, is a wonderful kind of curiosity. And then also a curiosity about what is missing from the encyclopedia and what you can contribute to it. And it could be something like making an article more readable or translating an article from one language to another. Um, those are great places to get started, but creating an article from scratch, which I think a lot of people think that they is the thing that they want to do is something that you can think of as something you can build up to, not something that you can um, uh, uh, do right away. I also saw some questions about um, conflicts of interest. So people wanting to uh, make edits that have to do um, with their with their institution. And I would I would really uh, discourage that as the first things um, that 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 one might undertake. Uh, there's there are um, there are rules or at least community norms about doing that. Um, and that's something that could be discussed uh, more in depth. Um, but it's a it's a great question, and certainly certainly one one we get a lot of. Thank you, Marilee. Yes, I I think what makes Wikipedia special is almost how simple it is to press the edit button. But it it is quite different from other user friendly um, interfaces such as blogging software or uh, participating in a social media platform because Wikipedia um, and Wikimedia more generally is this community um, that's focused on uh, sh shared values and coming to consensus. So there's no one author of a Wikipedia article um, but people collaborate and share their the work over time. Um, and this is what I think makes participation a little bit different. Someone asked in the chat, I think I see the meaning of Wicca and Pedia. And I wanted to just share briefly uh, this meaning because I think it does help you understand what this project is all about. So I'll start with Pedia. And this is, of course, a reference to a compendium or a a tertiary source. Um, the tagline of Wikipedia is to be the sum of all human knowledge, uh, which is a very, very ambitious project and uh, is coming out of uh, the kind of the Enlightenment project to, to share um, and compile uh, knowledges. Um, and it's a particular way of knowing. It's a particular kind of, of project. Um, and it shares its tagline with the Encyclopedia Britannica. There's a 1924 advertisement for the Encyclopedia Britannica, and it has the very same tagline to be the sum of all human knowledge. So there's a history there, in, and there's a very specific definition of encyclopedia embedded in this project, this wiki project. Okay. Wiki means a uh, content management system. It's a particular type of shared content management system that was developed by a, a, a software engineer, Ward Cunningham, who is an American. Um, and he named it after these small buses in Hawaii that would uh, simultaneously connect uh, ports uh, to each other. There was no center. Um, but the buses would um, be moving around all very quickly at the same time. And that was the kind of ethos he wanted to give to his content management system. Many people could contribute at the same time uh, with no center to that. And wiki in Hawaiian uh, means quick. Okay, I have um, an announcement for everyone. Uh, <clears throat> there, there is an agreement between AFLIA and Wikipedia. Uh, to have training programs of not more than four months for African librarians. 
So librarians should expect that. There is an, I can see from the questions, everyone wants to know how do I get started? You know, that, that, and most of the questions are on the authenticity of the information. You know, we are, we've been told that anything that is in Wikipedia is not, we should not allow students to use. So yeah, that, that, that's an announcement. And uh, uh, do you have any tools or any editing tools that everybody seems to be asking about that they, everyone can go to and use them? Anyone? Any tools that can assist li uh, library to start working on... on well, on uh, yeah, I would suggest uh, one one way uh, you could learn more is to look at the resources that we curated for our project um, as a way to jump off. So all of the curriculum for our project is available, uh, but there are many, many how to get started resources on Wikipedia. And when you, um, after you read the stories of what uh, has been done um, and see the examples, uh, you can um, create a Wikipedia account and there are tutorials you can take um, that uh, many tutorials more than one um, that you could try out to get started and I think what makes the Wikipedia the most fun is to do it with other people at the same time so I would encourage you to take advantage of the new offerings uh, out of this partnership um, so that when you get started if you hit a hiccup or find you have a question you can you can have someone to turn to to get your question answered all right i can see merlin you've put up um the web junction um website where the tools are, are available for everyone to go and 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 um use so we, we it will be, the the website will be available with the recording and everybody can uh, just go in and start maybe registering and see how you can edit. And I can see people are still not convinced about the authenticity, <laughs> but I, I, I'm not sure. As a closing remark on the authenticity of the <laughs> of Wikipedia. Yeah. So. Um... I, I do have a, a remark on that. So a lot of the questions have to do with uh, students and others, quote, using Wikipedia. And I think the answer to that question has to be using it for what? So can you cite Wikipedia as a source in a paper? Probably if you're in an academic setting and in higher education, then, then no. Somebody needs to uh, mute, please. Um, uh, it's, um, it's, it's treating, teaching people what Wikipedia is, which is an encyclopedia. It's really no different than any other encyclopedia. You would not encourage a college student to, uh, use a, uh, a, a, a printed encyclopedia. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting a lot of, uh, background noise. Um, but uh, but in, in any case, I think it's it should really be treated no differently than any other um, encyclopedia. We should be teaching students how to use it in their research, which is really as a jumping off point to find other resources or to get background on a topic before they explore more deeply. So I think that uh, telling students not to use Wikipedia is confusing and perhaps harmful because we know that students are using it. Everybody's using Wikipedia. I think instead what's more positive is to teach them how to use it. And that, as I would say, is not to cite it in their research, but to use it to explore further. So there's a question here. Is there any role of librarians other than being editor in Wikipedia? Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, and yes. go ahead, Marilee. <laughs> I, I think a lot of our, um, a lot of our, uh, the stories from the, um, and I'll put the, um, I'll put the, the link in there, but we have a lot of stories from 
uh, from libraries, some of which we summarized in these presentations, which is really librarians being um, guides. Uh, so not editing Wikipedia directly, but really uh, encouraging information literacy within their communities. I think that the story that Monica told about the two librarians that are working with middle school students, they were not editing Wikipedia. They were helping to interpret Wikipedia for their students in their community who are working on history projects um, to help them, you know, as I said, use Wikipedia appropriately to get to resources in the library and to help them understand uh, their topic in a larger context. Um, uh, I think that uh, contributing content to Wikimedia Commons is something that librarians can help with, with digitized content that helps um, uh, contributing to Wikidata in bulk is something that librarians do. Um, but I think that there's a lot of uh, kind of interpretation and encouragement and uh, encur really encouraging broader participation, broader understanding of what Wikipedia is and broader participation from the, from the larger community is a far, far greater thing than we can all do by sitting at our own computers and editing. Anyone else wants to add to the question? Yeah, thanks, Marilee, for that. I completely agree uh, with with what she's saying, and I think it's important um, to really understand what an encyclopedia is. Um, it's a starting place for research and to understand how this encyclopedia works. So there are core content policies and pretty strong guidelines around what kind of reference is acceptable um, to be a reference on Wikipedia. So there are, um, as a tertiary source, there are sec it's built upon secondary sources. Uh, this isn't a place for original research, for essays, for your feelings on things. Um, and I think if you read Wikipedia articles and see entries that don't seem to follow those guidelines, it's very likely that the Wikimedia community has also agreed that those are articles that are in need of further improvement. Um, and so learning how to read the, read the pages and read the, the, the uh, behind the scenes editorial channels, which are available to you um, on every page, there is a little button called talk. And you can see um, how other editors are communicating about the integrity of that page. Um, health and medical information on English Wikipedia is held to very high standards. So the kinds of sources that are acceptable um, for any information that could be considered uh, health, uh, uh, health advice. Um, Wikipedia is not a place for advice, but editors and medical practitioners know that people are going there to get information. So there are high standards. Um, and many new editors who aim to participate um, often will find that their contributions to those topics can be reverted uh, by other editors who are taking out information that's not adequately sourced um, or isn't from the right kind of source. So as you learn more about how to read the signs and signals of the page, uh, it's very helpful skill to learn um, so that you can evaluate the integrity of one of the articles. And that's a skill that you can teach students um, or you know anyone uh, who's uh, encountering Wikipedia. Okay, I just want to read this and I think you did touch on it earlier. Uh, that says, having read the wiki policy on putting <clears throat> information on one's organization, I would like to ask how, can, how we can put information on our libraries without getting called out for, my, for what? for marketing or going against the wiki policy? Any That's a great question. That? Um, the kind of pat answer to that is if you're from an organization or a company, a for-profit company in particular, and you'd like to improve an article um, about your company, um, you're usually asked to include that information on the talk page which is not the front page of the article, but it's the tab that's next to that front page of the article. And to include all of the information that you'd like to add so that another editor 
can review it um, and pick up the baton and include it in there. That said, uh, cultural heritage uh, and information services professionals have a unique role. Uh, often they know their institutional histories better than anyone else. And so I think Marilee might be able to speak a little bit more about um, doing this kind of editing uh, as well, but there's a way that you can put a conflict of interest statement on your user page that states that you are working in the best interest of, an, of the encyclopedia and really aim to expand access to verifiable information for any reader, any user. Um, and just to give other editors uh, us, um, the message that you're there for, um, for improving that, that article and that you've got access to references that others may not have. And then um, editing the article in a way um, that doesn't use promotional language, for example. Uh, so you, you wouldn't want to say like, it's the best library ever. And I think all of you probably know that, um, but really using a, a, as much as possible this quote unquote neutral point of view um, as you add information um, in to, to improve the article. But Marilee might have something to add too. Yeah, I was just going to say, just to kind of amplify what uh, what Monica was saying and to give an example. Um, <clears throat> if you were a person who works for the National Library of Nigeria, you may look at the um, the article that's here, um, which looks on the face of it to be a pretty good, but also very basic article. It could, uh, you know, certainly has more history and more to do with it. <coughs> you want may, may want to make improvements to this article. Um, uh, so, uh, the, if you're a new, if you're a new editor to Wikipedia, you might make suggestions here on the talk page. Um, and then other people who have edit, who have, um, who have worked on this article would then be notified, uh, that you've put something on the talk page. And so a more experienced editor, one who has some distance from the subject, could then take your suggestions that were on the talk page and incorporate them into the article. So that's kind of the most basic way to do it. As Monica mentioned, um, you can also have a conflict of interest statement. And so my username on the Wikimedia projects is Merrily, and you can go ahead and take a look at my user page. But I do have a conflict of interest statement um, here that says who I am, who I work for, and what I seek to do. Um, so if I get, uh, it also asks that if I do something that seems to be in, in conflict with the interests of Wikipedia, that people talk about that with me on my talk page. So this is a pretty um, typical thing that people could do. Uh, I, um, I have edited the OCLC page, but I did it as Monica outlined. Um, I went to the talk page and had some discussions about the types of changes that I wanted to make, uh, got consensus on those changes, and then was more or less authorized by the community to go ahead and make those changes in the article space. But I had been editing Wikipedia at that point for six or seven years before I did that. So if the only thing that you can think of to do um, is to edit your own page, I would say that you're really lacking imagination. And there are other places in the project that are a little less close to you that you can definitely make a contribution in. Okay, thank you very much. There's just one last question. And I want each one of you to give us your closing remark. Someone says they want a dashboard for librarians who register their real name as part of the directory of libraries on Wikipedia. Is there a chance that you can create that space? You can answer that question and give us closing remark. Uh, over to you, Mary. Sure. Um, so I think what the person is asking for is how can we create a community of librarians on Wikipedia? Um, and that's, uh, uh, if I'm interpreting that question uh, correctly, um, I love that question. There's actually a Wikimedia and Libraries user group if you have, uh, and I will share that um, uh, in the in the chat um, in just a moment. But if you uh, create a Wikipedia account and then go ahead and join our user group, you are part of the community of Wikibarians. Um, there's also a listserv that you can join and a Facebook group that you can join. So there's already a global community of Wikibarians, and you are 
warmly welcomed to join that community in whichever make, way makes sense to you. So on Wiki, on a listserv, or on Facebook. Thank you for that question. Monica, your turn. Thank you. I went next. ahead and shared that user group in the chat channel. So those of you who have access to the chat channel can find it. Um, and I, I, yeah, the, it's a robust community. There's a lot of librarians with different ideas and stories. And there's many, many ways that uh, libraries can get involved in Wikipedia. And so I think it's an open invitation um, to, to join the community um, in its many forms and spaces um, and share your knowledges and insights. So thank you. Thank you very much for interesting conversation. I just want to remind everybody for, uh, about uh, the, the next series. The next one will be on the 12th of March, Global Library Outreach Program. Next one, 2nd April, representing African knowledge and the African diaspora for Wikipedia global audience. Fourth one and the last is on the 23rd of April, learning more about African Library Week and how to participate in the campaign. So please, all librarians, please uh, send messages in your association group, in your group, so that you can have, um, we can have more people participating in the next webinars. If you didn't get the, the dates, go to, um, AFLIA website, you will get all the, the, the dates. And remember we said we're going to run a, a course for a, a librarians uh, in AFLIA. So there's a lot of work that's still coming. So hope to see you on the 12th of March. Thank you very much for our speakers. You were wonderful. Thank you. <laughs>